Good morning. Good morning. I decided not to do any PowerPoints so that we can, we can properly interact. Um, this is a, a book called Culture Matters, written by Lawrence E. Harrison and Samuel P. Huttington. And uh, this is the foreword to the book. And it says, in the early 1990s, I happened to come across economic data on Ghana and South Korea in the early 1960s. And I was astonished to see how similar their economies were. These two countries had roughly comparable levels of per capita GNP, similar divisions of their economy among primary products, manufacturing and services, and overwhelmingly primary product exports, with South Korea producing a few manufactured goods. Also, they were receiving comparable levels of economic aid. 30 years later, South Korea had become an industrial giant with the 14th largest economy in the world. Multinational corporations, major exports of automobiles, electronic equipment, and other sophisticated manufacturers, and a per capita income approximating that of Greece. Moreover, it was on its way to the consolidation of democratic institutions. No such changes had occurred in Ghana. How could this extraordinary difference in development be explained? Undoubtedly, it has played a role, but it seemed culture, culture had to be a large part of the explanation. South Koreans valued thrift, investment, hard work, education, organization, and discipline. Ghanaians had different values. So in short, culture counts. Okay, this is not me. This is a couple of professors doing research on how in 30 years you can have two countries. <laughs> You know, who are the same level, and one is far gone, and the other one is still wallowing in the mud. And their conclusion after all the, all the studies was that the difference was in culture. You know, so this morning, as we talk intentional business, I would want to basically show you why some do it and I mean, when I say some do it, some succeed greatly, and uh, why it is so difficult. How many of us know the word authority? Authority, authority. What does it mean? What does the word authority mean? Power. power. It means power. Fantastic. What else does it mean? Influence. Influence. Okay. Now, when you study English, you notice that the way words are formed is that words Sometimes you, you have a word, but if you break the word down, if you get into the morphology of it, you notice that it is different words that have come together. You know, and if you take the word authority, you notice that the first part of that word is author. Do you realize that? Author. So I took a book, read, a, read a, something from the foreword, okay? and, and your natural assumption is that they are saying these, uh, these things because they are authorities on the subject. So basically, the person who tells the story owns the space. And when it comes to branding in business, when it comes to business and branding, telling your story, the single most important thing, and I mean, I don't want us to get complicated, bore you down with jargons, but basically, whoever tells their story well owns the space. The reason why we are talking about the intentional business is that everybody tells their story. You have to understand that. Every single business here tells their story. When I walk into your shop and I pick a product, from how you receive me, in fact, from, you know, first finding where you are is part of your story. How you receive me 
into your space is another part of the story. And in terms of telling stories, you see, when we're in the business space, especially those of us who study business, marketing, you know, and we, we get thrown all these terms, we don't realize that business is just a reflection of life. And so, the story of your faith and the story of business is actually the same. The story of your family and your culture and the story of business is very much the same. If you go to the hospital and you have a critical case and there's a Ghanaian doctor and that day there's a visiting doctor from the US, white man or white woman, and they give you the option of choosing which of these doctors you would want to operate on you, Let's be honest, and please answer me honestly. Which one would you choose? Culture. You've been colonized. It's the same thing if you want to see the president. Find some white friend, let him go take you. You'll see the president quickly. And I want to suggest a very simple step. The first and foremost, start by having a proper look at your story. And the story of why you are here, the story of why you are doing this business.